Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome to the new shop. Let's get to work. Now you may have seen our previous Max Air Fan install, but I guarantee you've never seen an install like this. We're gonna be using two specifically made transit products to make this Max Fan install the best it can be. The first is from DIYvan.com, and this is a rooftop flange adapter that's gonna compensate for the curved Ford Transit roof and eliminate the need for extra butyl along the sides. The next is a Max Fan install kit from Van Project One. This is a machined product that eliminates the need for sealants and adds rigidity to your install. If you'd like to see our unboxing, we have a short here on our YouTube channel, and we wanna say thanks to Van Project One for providing this kit free of charge for our install today. While both of our Max Fan installation methods are totally valid, today's kit is gonna take a lot of the guesswork out of installing your fan, and it's gonna add a lot of rigidity to that installation. Let's get to work. Our first step is to do a little bit of prep work here at the bench before we climb onto the roof. The Van Project One kit comes with a cutout template that gives us an inside diameter cutout for our roof, as well as a drill guide for all of our hardware. We're gonna use this adapter and put it on top of our DIY van adapter and drill all of those holes so that everything's prepped and ready to go. So first I'm gonna tape my template on top of my DIY van adapter so that I can match drill all of these holes and get everything lined up perfectly. I'm just gonna tape it in place so nothing shifts while I do my work and it's gonna make it super easy. All right, with my flange on top, I'm just gonna go around the outside and mark all of the holes on my flange adapter so I can match drill all of these and make my installation super easy. With all of our holes marked, we're gonna use a quarter inch drill bit and drill these holes out. The next step is going to be removing these screw guides here from the Max Fan installation flange and replacing them with these bolt-in sections from Van Project One. Now that we've transferred our holes to our DIY adapter, we can take this to the roof of the van and mark our cutout. Up here on the roof, I'm gonna use my DIY van adapter to mark out the location of my fan here. But before I mark anything, I'm gonna tape this down so I don't have any shifting of this adapter while I mark everything out. With it secured in place, I'm gonna take my long neck silver marker and I'm just gonna mark all of my holes and my cutout perimeter. With my template marked out, I'm gonna grab my tools and let's get this van opened up. Because accuracy is pretty important on this install, we're gonna use a center punch to punch each one of these bolt holes all around the perimeter of our opening. Next, I'm gonna drill all the holes around the perimeter of my opening. I wanna do all this stuff before I cut the hole open. Once I cut the hole open, everything gets a little floppier until I get the whole fan installed, so it's easier to drill the holes now. With all of our holes drilled, I'm gonna use my step bit and accurately size the hole, and I'm gonna match that opening to the hardware that came with our Van Project One kit. Accuracy is important, so I wanna get all of these as tight as possible. All of my hardware holes are opened around the perimeter of our opening. Now I'm gonna drill the corners of my opening just to make that cut a little bit cleaner in the edges. Now I'm gonna use that step bit and open it up until I hit the perimeter of my opening. And my last step is gonna make an opening here that's large enough to get my nibblers through here. If you're using a jigsaw, whatever, just you gotta open up something to get that tool into the metal. Now I'm gonna use my little Makita nibblers here and I'm gonna cut my opening. All of our cuts are made. Let's clean up our mess and prepare for install. Don't forget to prime all those raw metal edges. Although the Van Project One kit does not require sealant, because we are using this adapter from DIY Van, we are going to need to apply sealant between the adapter and the roof of our van. Today we're using 3M740 UV. It's a black sealant, it works super well. We love 3M products. Got our sealant in place, and let's just pull off this down. I'm just visually sighting everything, make sure all my holes are lined up. Looks perfect. Our DIY van flange is in place, and now we're gonna put down the gasket that came from Van Project One. Then I'm gonna place my Max Air flange adapter. And finally, the outer matching ring from Van Project One. Here on the inside of the van, we have these steel strips from Van Project One, and they're gonna add the rigidity inside the van here. And we have some nice stainless hardware. We're gonna put the washer on the hardware, feed that through my reinforcement strip and get these threaded through and into that flange on top of the van. Give it a little compression as I do this and I just wanna make sure everything is started before I move on to adding actual tension to any of the hardware. With our side strips in place, we're gonna use these short strips and they're gonna go at the front and the back of the fan. All of our flange hardware is in place. Let's get on the roof and finally mount our fan. The last bolts are in on the side of our Max Air fan and I'm super stoked on how clean and level this install is. The van feels super rigid here if I shake the fan and I think this install is gonna be good for the long haul. If you have any questions about this install, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.